Russia is known for a lot of different things. Its harsh climate, controversial president, history of the Soviet era, and the Cold War. But Russia typically isn't known for skyscrapers, until you take a look at Lachta Center, an engineering masterpiece that also happens to be the tallest building in Europe. In today's video, we're covering everything there is to know about the 87-story skyscraper in St. Petersburg, Russia. Welcome to Lachta Center. So why was this tower built, and why is there just a freestanding skyscraper just outside downtown St. Petersburg? While the upper deck of the Lachta Center is open for tourists and a pretty popular place to check out, the building is not exactly a tourist destination. This building actually serves primarily as the headquarters for the Russian energy production company Gazprom. Gazprom is the largest publicly listed natural gas company in the world, and they're based out of Lachta Center. The design of Lachta Center was actually a competition between different architectural firms bidding to win Gazprom's business. They got a lot of different concepts, but this gorgeous building is the one that won. In total, Lachta Center has three main parts. There's a multifunctional facility, an arch, and obviously the main tower, which in total is 1,516 feet tall and took exactly six years to complete, with construction kicking off in 2012 and finishing in 2018. Believe it or not, the Lachta Center has a 340-foot spire, which was installed using the tallest crane in all of Europe. The tower has 16,500 pieces of curved glass panels that were fitted to give it that sleek and majestic look, setting an entirely new example of modern-day architecture with its neo-futuristic style. All the glass panels have automatic shutters and valves that adjust according to the outside temperature to reduce heat loss. I mean, after all, it's located in northern Russia. And since the whole theme of this iconic landmark is water and life, the glass facade changes colors depending on how the sun hits it. It also has exterior lighting at night, which makes it look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. They even do different light shows for specific events and special holidays. So the fact that engineers were able to construct something so extraordinary in six years is mind-blowing. But all this cost the company a pretty penny to construct, despite being almost half as tall as the Burj Khalifa, which is currently the tallest building in the world. Lachta Center cost 20% more to construct, totaling an estimated 1.8 billion US dollars in the making. And here's a fun fact. Did you know the construction of Lachta Center actually set a Guinness World Record for the longest concrete pour ever? That's right. To support the massive 670,000 ton building, almost 5 million gallons of concrete were poured continuously for a jaw-dropping 49 hours to set the foundation. Now. What's an iconic tower without a stylistic and sophisticated spire, you might ask? Well, Lachta Center's 2,000-ton spire is a wonder of its own. It adds an entirely new dimension to the tower, completing its complex geometry sitting just above the 83rd floor. The whole tower is basically composed of five columns that rotate as they go up, and culminate in the spire, giving this tower its beautiful geometric shape. The top also happens to be the highest observation deck in all of Europe, giving tourists an unmatched view of St. Petersburg's phenomenal skyline. Now, with this spire, here's where some more clever engineering comes into play. Instead of using glass panels, engineers and architects decided to use steel mesh, which doesn't only reduce its weight, but also helps minimize wind loads to protect the tower's structural integrity. Pair all that with state-of-the-art weather sensors and communication systems, and you have yourself a perfectly engineered spire 
capable of combating even the toughest of conditions in St. Petersburg. There's even a train moving along the tower on vertical rails installed on the edges of the facades, making maintenance on a building in one of the harshest places in the world easier than ever. Now that we're done with the significance of its structure, what even goes on inside the Lachta Center and who works there? Well, its purpose is primarily as a scientific and educational complex. And apart from all the office space for people who work at Gazprom, the tower has a ton of facilities for residents of St. Petersburg. For starters, there's a huge co-working center, a children's science center, a massive conference room, and even a sports complex. There's also 16,000 square feet of indoor exhibition space, often used for art, sculptures, and creative installations. And we obviously can't forget about the free public observation deck. At 1,170 feet in the air, giving visitors a bird's eye view of all of St. Petersburg. And just like Toronto's CN Tower, the Lachta Center also has a luxurious restaurant on the same floor as the observation deck, providing visitors and staff with an unparalleled dining experience up in the air. This iconic tower easily serves up to 5,000 employees and 3,000 visitors on any given day. You'd think that a building of this magnitude would need a super efficient mobility system, right? Well, that's exactly why the tower has 34 elevators with a wait time of no more than 30 seconds. This skyscraper also ranks in the top five most eco-friendly tall buildings in the world. After its completion, the Lachta Center received a grand reception, grabbing multiple awards like the Emporis Skyscraper of the Year Award and the Facade Engineering Award at the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat Awards in 2021. It also bagged the Structural Engineering and Geotechnical Award in the same year. The Lachta Center is an incredibly sustainable landmark. The design of the tower contains a variety of environmental technologies that earned it a LEED Platinum certificate as well. I mean, how do you beat that, right? And instead of having to build additional heating units, all of the excess heat generated by the technical equipment is used to heat the rest of the tower. This mighty skyscraper also uses state-of-the-art noise suppressing technology, along with soundproof curtain walls and floating floors to reduce vibrations. And even the glass panels on the outside of the tower are heated to prevent frosting and give visitors a spectacular view of a snowy St. Petersburg and Neva Bay in the winter season. That's it from us guys, so what do you think? Is the Lakta Center one of the greatest modern skyscrapers of our time? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content on international development projects just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.